been helping out. I mean, the, the timing of Stokes' thing is just, it's almost as if it's an Australian that did it, if you know what I mean. You see, I don't think it is. No, I'm in November, KP. I'm in November. Right, so we're losing 1-0 to Fleetwood. I'm, as I said, I'm not really fussed about whether we win the Checker Trade Trophy, but if we do get through, that's brilliant. Oh, hang up. Gibbs has got a goal back. And then we'll go 2-1 down. And then we lose 2-1 to flee. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I, I gain enjoyment <coughs> at this series because I'm putting challenges on myself. I'm putting constraints on what we can do. The chat are helping me with doing that as well. Giving me transfer. I'd get all my transfer targets from my chat. So every single time a transfer window opens up, it's like we just go, right, we need, player X we need position X, Y, Z. So give me players and when we'll try and get them. You know, that's the kind of deal that we do over here. And so whenever we get into a transfer window, it can be like a mad frenzy. But it's got fun. Because we're just mucking about, we're having a laugh. And I'm trying to take my team to victory. And I've set on like um, um, rules that I can only, I can only, what you call it, I can only loan players. I can buy... And then at the end of every season, we have a little vote in chat and say who is the best loan player. The, the, the chat's opinion, what was our best loan player from the year before. And we try and then go and buy that player for the next season. Like in my first season, we had Andre Dazelle, who is in our centre midfield at the minute. And he was voted in, in the chat as our best player last season for loans. So we went and bought him. And that is the rule we go for. And we are allowed to buy um, one free agent per transfer window. And then when we get to January, we take a different vote on, like, when, when we come into it, it's like the pre-contracted players. Well, Should we get them on? Should, are we allowed? How many pre-contract players are we allowed to get in? But again, that changes every single window. So when we get to every transfer window, everything is that little bit different. It's a little bit interesting. There's a new constraint. There's a new rule. There's a new tweak to the system. It keeps it interesting. And hopefully, I mean, chat enjoys it. And hopefully all, all the viewers enjoy it because they're trying to give them that feedback. Yes, when we get into... The middle part of the season when we're literally just rambling through games well, I need to figure out a way to get Michael chat a little bit more involved because I mean it's nice and all to just be sitting upright. here and having um, a chat having a, a nice a nice talk about just Could random things like me we and Liam obviously have been talking about the ashes this morning but you know it's it's trying to get you more involved in the middle part of the season and I'm, I'm figuring out and I'm open to ideas I really am so all ideas are welcome and we'll figure it out and hopefully by the time we get through and then if if um, we do get veiled to the Premier League and the Champions League if we do another career mode with another team we'll have a more a better schedule it's all about growth it's all about learning improving and getting to Engage with the fans. You know that's what I, that's what that's what the entire that's what how I see streaming. It's yes, me enjoying myself and playing a game, but it's also trying to make it as fun for me or as frustrating for me in the game, but enjoyable for you. Because obviously the frustration is that because of loaning players, we get what we we got what a hundred players suggested in the opening transfer window. And it we really what you call it? I think we season. we signed so six, or maybe even top. left well, less than that. So it's what a six percent hit rate on the loans. Oh no, it was even less so than that close. because we got Murray on a free transfer, so it was five. So it was roughly five percent of players. Um, it's money in the mini KP because I made a mistake. I didn't really want to get Tammy Abraham. It was just a mistake because his wages were too high. And we did. And we've kind of been left with no money in the wage budget. So when we get to January, we'll have to 
see what we've got left in the budgets before we can go for other players because we were actually at a point at the end of the first window where I had zero, zero, zero pounds in the transfer and zero funds in the wage. So I've never, I've never seen anyone get it that low. So that's an achievement in itself, I suppose. But yeah, we'll, we'll 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 see when we get there. Oops, I don't want the ultra attack. I'm just normal attack, please. So that and, and, that, and the, that in itself, the board want me to. This is the one thing I don't understand. They want me to push for promotion, but they only say I can increase my wage budget by twenty percent. When we've already gone up a league, so in effect the wages are going to go up because you've gone up a league. You're going to need to buy that extra quality of player. And they're not giving me, they're not supporting me in the wage budget to do it, so you know, it, that, that that in itself makes it really interesting because Vale don't have. I think our starting transfer budget for this season was four mil or three and a bit mil. One, uh, it's like it's maybe closer to three million once I amended it to be able to get the wages where it was comparative to be able to sign players. And Dazelle cost us one and a bit, I think. Reading of the, by anticipating the pass. So yeah, there's that. It's like unfortunately Murray. that's the, the, the struggle the struggle the that we have third. when we have lower league players. Oh, sorry, a lower league team with, with a very low market three. value. I still don't fully understand how FIFA work out the net worth of a club. I still don't. I still. If any of you know how that works, please let me know, because I really don't know how that works. Riley. The opposition are pressing high up the pitch, but they're keeping the ball. They've got enough numbers back. Attacking now. Popey gets sandwiched out. Probably should have took the shot from the edge of the area. Riley. The next one. That's a better one. Yeah. It's a confusing thing, the net worth is. Confusing. Here's Robinson. And here they are on the attack. Riley. Oh no 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 no. Didn't mean to lose well, it there. Well Good it. safe flow down by Clarky. Get it out. Good, good header. Let's win this second ball, Pope. Or just let it just go free. Good header there. Zell dwelled on the ball too long. Southend has still got it. Good tackling there from Gunny. We're going to go out with Riley. All right. Thank you very much for stopping by, Mikey. Have a good rest of your day, mate, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Murray. You could have just got that down the line. Robinson was free. Attacking well here. Here's Robinson. Well done again, Gunning. Sense that they had a real belief in that attack, but the Fair. defending actually made it look rather weak in the end. Nice little spin move from Abraham. And then, just as he goes to pass, falls over. Two tough guys going cool. for it. Uh, well. It's one of those that um, will go. We, I'm only streaming till the end of um, November, but that's good news. Thank you very much. Put into the middle. We're streaming till. Sorry, I mean yeah, end of November in the game. That's what I mean. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Right, let's sort this out, Vale. Come on. He has got some support if he wants to just lay it off. Try and limit, try and keep the streams down to just about two hours because then it just worked well into his schedule. Because then what I'm going to try and do is any of if any, <coughs> pardon me, because I haven't done this before on this channel. But what I'm trying, going to try and do, so today might be a little bit of an exception, but I'm going to try and um, get the streams from yesterday and today cut down. And then, so they, they can be part of a five minute, so uh, over the Monday to Friday, little just little right. snippets. So basically, just the games. 
or if anything funny Quite happened or if anything attack. important happened in the middle of it just try and just get those up so people who have missed the streams can watch on a bite-sized chunk it was a real opportunity. for the rest of the week try and do it that way from a defensive point of view yeah well they really did converge on him quickly he didn't miss by much but he's missed it Robinson well this attack has got a bit of menace to it it's going to be a throw here so I will be doing that this afternoon, along with just having a nice chill yeah, on a Sunday minutes, and enjoying the rest of the weekend. <clears throat> he worked hard enough, but it just didn't come off for him. Oh, TAA, lit ball in, goes all the way to the back post, really and fair heads. Yeah, oh, come on, that was just a defensive header. That wasn't fair, is it? Nice play, South End. Really Gunning again. Play the ball straight to the opposition. Gav is playing well. I know all of you listening want to know whether this is a done deal or not. We can tell you it's not done, but it might be close. But that's still speculation. Well, all the fans are excited nice about play. Martin and Alexander Arnold. As well. bet, Robinson. Uh, he's desperate for the move to Robinson go gets a bit of space. Whips it in. Abraham. Phew. That's the first one, I, and I think be the reason why I'm not celebrating that too much is because Abraham has missed so many easy opportunities this year, this season, that I'm actually more relieved than anything that he's actually poked it home. But that's great play from Robinson, and he megs the keeper. Absolutely megs him. Oh, dear, that keeper's going to be embarrassed. But, yeah, relief that Tammy Abraham gets a goal. Absolute relief. I, I can't count on my hands how many one-on-ones Abraham's missed this season. Robinson. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Oh yeah, he did. The keeper's just sitting there like that, just going. As he's just, as he's just said, Bruh. Fair challenge, balls out for a throw though. Kitely. We'll give away the free kick on the edge of the box. I'm just glad you didn't give away a penalty. Let's get it clear. Keepers. Oh, catch it, Clarky. Looking down fair. Oh, that's a good play. Nice return pass. Gets his cross in. Oh, come well, that's on. That's not so much an interception as a poor pass. We need TAA. No, 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 no. Get it out. Come on. Robinson. Break, break clear now. Murray. Ref! Oh, no. He's given possession away here. Oh, yeah, we are. Definitely. Robinson. Quality replacements. That, that's, I think that's the thing. It's they, they could they could get replacements. It's not like they've got no one else to call on, but they've got no one to improve the side. Riley. Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, that's actually not bad from. They're keeping the ball. That's the important thing. Murray. Well, yeah, that and that's the thing is though, it's like you kind of, you kind of want to give them a different look. Now for the pass. That's not bad ball in. Confegi's head on it. No, comes off the defender, goes straight across the goal, the and there's nobody there. And now a throw in. You kind of maybe want to try something different because it's obviously the current plan isn't working, but he's not. He's not the, the what you call. He's not going to be the one that will win the Ashes on his own. I don't think there's anybody. I mean, we had. You could have said back in the day we had. Oh, what a header from Gunny! We had KP Flintoff that could have potentially took a game away from him. Riley. 
How much how much is that buyout clause for Suarez? They are a class act as a team. That is an interesting one. Quick and they're slick with their work. Well, the manager will be enjoying the side I mean, the now South End are really starting to ramp it up, right? I'm gonna go possession football. And I take his is running out. And take his back down to balance. He's coming forward. Right, ten minutes to go. Let's make some changes. I right, need a bit of pace up top, so I'm gonna put Penea up top for Pope. And I will take Murray no, we'll take uh, Dazelle off. He's a little bit more lightweight than Middleton. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Danger. Leonard. Because we're gonna have to soak up a little bit of a pressure now. And what was I thinking about? You think it's not? Okay. With good vision. Oh no, phew, luckily he didn't take that forward. If he'd have took that forward, that would have been a really good opportunity for him. Win that head of time. Nope. 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 Ah, getting caught. No, 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 not like this. Phew. Really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there. Get some stick from the crowd. Really neither has to be. you've got to be winning that header. Middleton's just got shrugged off the ball by Yearwood. And I mean brutally shrugged off the ball. I'm going defensive. Don't usually do this. I'm going long ball. Hoof! Just get it out. Just get it out. That's all I want. So much pressure. This could be their last chance to sell something from this match. There you go. Full time. We luckily hold we hold on to that. South End really give it to go in the last 10 minutes. But the goal from Tammy Abraham oh, makes it so we win it. It was our only shot on target. And we win that second game. Scunthorpe drew as well, which means we should be top on our own. Which we are by two points. Yes.